There is a new movement going through Jefferson County Public Schools. Many students are becoming very disgruntled at the early mornings the high school requires and feel that they are being treated unfairly. Studies are shown that adolescents require more sleep than many are acquiring. This has led to a new and innovative form of civil disobedience, sleep-ins. I, I just, I feel oppressed by these, by these early hours that, these early hours that are just forced upon us, man. Sleep-ins are, They're a good way. They're harmless. They're a harmless way for us to stand up for what's right. People see me sleeping in class and they think, wow, what a slacker. But this movement is about being lazy. It's about sticking up for what you believe in. Here is sleep expert R. Lyle Baptista with his take on the events. Truly, it's really remarkable to see students being so progressive in this day of age. Uh, to be bold enough, to be brave enough to fight the system like this, Sleep is an utmost necessity for teenagers in order for their brains to develop correctly. In fact, not only does sleeping in class boost their uh, civil rights confidence and fight for their rights, it also boosts their IQ 200 points. I don't really know how it works, but it's science, so it must be true. Despite this being a peaceful form of revolution, some students have received hostility from the sleep-in movement. I just wanted to defend my freedom during that really boring documentary history. Thought my teacher woke me up and humiliated me in front of the whole class. I am a sleeper and I will not be oppressed by your early hours, Jeff Co. Students are saying that the next movement will be abstaining from completing homework, claiming that it violates child labor laws. This is Kurt Dingles signing off for GMTV News. Okay.